Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazu Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Zhang Lover. But right now, Prince Kanin arrives. The Japanese consul in Shenyang has handed the government in notice of the arrival of Prince Kanin, who recently disembarked from the battleship Nagato in Darien Harbor. In accordance with his ranks, the occasion is being given all the pomp and circumstance of a safe visit, and the prince will travel north to Shenyang for a formal reception by the Grand Marshal, followed by a tour of the country. Various ministers and generals have made assurances of the prince's safety, as it would be a political disaster for any harm to come to a member of the imperial family. Welcome, Prince Kanin and the Five Colors. The Jilin Film Association has today released its first feature, a sweeping ethnographic detailing the diverse populations of the Northeast, from the snow-capped pines of Heilongjiang to the fertile banks of the Lower Li the Owl River, espousing the values of the National Five Races under one union policy. Thanks to the government resistance, the association was able to easily access a number of remote locations in order to film and better spread its message of unity and harmony, though some criticism has been leveled at its coverage of Koreans and Japanese, many of whom cohabitate in the Northeast but are not officially part of the Five Races des designated in the national flag overall. And despite its uh, relatively small screening due to limited theater numbers, the film has been considered a great success. Small successes paved the way the road to victory. We got way too much Concordia influence here. Uh, we can do this stuff, but uh, national or dentism. We might actually want to do that. I'm not really sure if we really want to have the conference yet. I kind of kind of keep doing my tattoo uh, li uh, collaboration. So if you want to read this one again, please go right ahead. Which I think I read before, but I could be very wrong. Yeah. If you want to do that, please go ahead. And I, the Tiger. After arriving at the Grand Marshal's residence in Chanyang, the prince was ceremoniously received in the Tiger Room by prominent members of the assembly and Zhang Zulin himself, before touring the former palace of the Qing Dynasty, which has been since then converted for use by the government, and the Shangyang Arsenal, the city's northwest suburbs. The evening was finished by an elegant state dinner in the Chinese style, during which a toast was made to the special relationship between China and Japan. Kotohito plans to leave Shenyang in a few days for an inspection of defenses to the south, but rumors swirl that an attempt could be made on his life. Cancel for his safety? A great honor. A Japanese lecture expertise. If I read this one, my apologies, but I'm going to read it again. Thanks to China's backwardness over the past century and the chaos of the past few decades, a country has few native engineers. Japanese assistance will be essential in bringing modernity to the Northeast. A fall of the Rashidi Empire, huh? Oh, we're still here. We're still here. Still having a good old time, aren't we? Having a great time, I bet. A truly great, great time. An inspection of the Southern Front. As part of the general inspection of the narrow, demilitarized zone separating Qing and Fengchang territory, Prince Kanin was greeted by a precision military drill at the Wanjia Hezen Forts, built in 1929 to support the operation of several armored trains along the Jinfeng Line. Impressed by the recent addition to the forts and other fortifications to the north running parallel to the Great Wall, Kotohito was surprised by the professionalism of our soldiers. Given our esteemed visitors' considerable rank in the Japanese military, it seems that likely that Japan will see us as a bit more of a reliable ally in the future. In lieu of further inspections, the prince will be staying at the recently completed Yamato Hotel in Jinzu before moving north again to Abin. Cool. Uh, they nominate a new economic minister. Appoint him. That's fine with us. Because we've got to make sure that we're Concordia influence as much as possible. We'll see how we can actually do that. But happy 1938, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Can we actually win here? And again, I don't want to get in a circle here, too. So, we'll see. We actually win there. We can cut these divisions off, which would be pretty darn decent. Um, we still cannot present Chinese modernity yet, but the wonders of Abin. The Northeast is cap culture capital and center of innovation. The city of Abin has received Prince Kanin after his long journey through the summer heat. The prince quickly transitioned to a tour of the city, including the Russian quarter, and received reports of both, from both Chinese and Japanese garrisons along the northern frontier. His departure from the city in a few days will mark a functional end of the visit, though he remains the nation's guest until his train passes back into the Kwantung Elite territory. Abin is a multicultural jewel of the Northeast. I definitely want to lower. Let's raise up uh, communication speak. It's fine. 36 is better than 38, but still. Still not great. And we're still trying to improve our army reforms. Meant to collaboration. Very good, very good, very good. Until two. Prince Kanin returns to Japan. Whew! The duties here complete. Prince Kanin Kotohito has safely departed Darien for the home islands. Any wrong imp strong impressions could have made could have had a lasting impact upon relations with Japan. Hopefully they're positive. Probably can't really win here, but you know what? Anything that could help us, like, smash these guys would be good. Um, we're just hold for now. Because now they're suffering from attrition. Oh, we don't want them to move. We really don't want them to move, though. Uh, is it Legacy? Yeah, I'll probably want to do this one. I don't remember if I read this one either, so... Manchuria's transformation from a backward borderland into one of the China's most prosperous regions owes itself to the work of Wang Zhongjiang. I already read this one, but Zhang Zulin's late finance minister. Disgusted by the Grand Marshal's costly excursion south of the Great Wall in 1928, Wang resigned and died shortly thereafter. His work left unfinished. We must pick it off where he left off. Yeah, see, I knew they would be attacking us. Uh, is there any point in attacking if they're just going to move into here? Probably not. Yeah, they're just... Oh! Now if we move into here, 
That might be good. And these guys are still cut up up here, too. So, yeah. Cool. Well, at least we didn't do too badly with the other guys. That's not bad. 43%. Holy crap. That's a lot of percent. Two. One. Can we go in here? Maybe, maybe not. They prevail in the Ukraine. All right. We're getting attacked, which does suck. But we are a little green here. A little green here. I, mean, I do want to go to war, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, we'll see what happens. They attack Shangxi. The traitorous rats in Beijing have launched a sneak attack on a former ally in Shangxi. Governor Yang Jishan has asked for assistance in defeating the Imper Qing Imperial Authority, but we cannot simply pivot to attack them. Many of our generals fear our forces are ready, unready for such a large conflict, and our Japanese backers have not yet signed up on such a quick attack. We can either override these generals at the cost of some political power, or we can wait three months. They say they need to prepare the troops and inform Yang we will assist them. Of course, we could also refuse to get involved at all. Hmm... You know what? Prepare the troops. Launch an attack. That's alright. Begin to prepare the troops, because now... Alright, so I think we have to go... Go successful. I think I did that last time, because I like going to war with a lot of people. I think we need to go by subjugation. I'm pretty sure I did... Yeah, I did that one. Yeah. The China Welfare Fund, the third principle. I'm more than certain I went down this way. But I had to go down here and couldn't do this one, I think. I can't remember. Oh, this one. I don't think we did this one, but I guess we'll try to go with subjug subjugation, so. So it's not successful. We could try it. When we move, begins our path towards national reclamation war. We'll try it. Might as well try it, right? Hey, nice job, guys. Nice job. They announce their ambitions. Well, okay. Nanshin Ron. Where's that? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, you go to war with those guys. Extend the Pacific Security Zone. Pressure Hawaii, create the South Sea Territory. Into China, yeah, leave us alone, please. Please leave us alone. Um, uh, mind going up there, maybe. Yeah, you can help support the attack, maybe, yeah? Oh, now you're getting attacked, never mind. Hold, 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 hold. That'd be good. Yeah, get some more army XP. You're not getting much, but you're getting something at least. Um, I don't think they have an airbase here, do, do they? Because these guys at war with all these people, that's good for us. Because once we go, to, if we can go to war, that'd be great. Yeah, you guys just kind of hold out. Tankettes, nice. Uh, motorized would be good to get too. And then I can administer. No, we're okay. She must be becoming a mountaineer. Yes, somewhat. Taking a while to learn that, though. Taking quite a while to learn that. Nice. Society for light metals. Oh, that's not bad. Um, Concordia Association. We don't want to lower the Concordia Association quite a bit, so. That's not bad either. Uh, it's going to show young arsenal. Yeah, I'll do that one maybe, because we get more another factory. China's large military industrial enterprise through the 20s, the enormous Shen Young Arsenal produces a wide variety of modified small arms and artillery, usually based around designs acquired from overseas. By expanding its operations and introducing new equipment, we can substantially increase its output. That's good, the propaganda war. Not bad. It's better one of the traders in the South, yeah. Army reform, we need 100 more army XP. That sucks. So path guides, take a look at this again, because the Shen Finyang government doesn't have that much here. Uh, get get the Concordia Association power, go down the right side of the main tree, and have Zhang try to put a son in charge. So, I mean, they are... Oh, what is this? Wu Wang is Ai Zhu. The ancient Chinese idiom, forget not what had happened in Zhu, alludes to the desperate defense of Zhu, the state of Qi's final bastion, from which it led a successful campaign to reclaim all of its lost territory. Make sure it shall be a Zhu, from which we will reconquer all of China. Oh, yeah. Even though we're still going to need... 41% here. The Anshan Incident. Oh boy. Uh, got some prepared defenses, which is nice. Go here too. The iron ore deposits at Anshan have been worked by the Japanese owned subsidiary of Mantetsu since 1918. Known as Anshan Iron and Steel, serving as one of Japan's most valuable sources of steel outside the home islands. When the facilities were first constructed, most of the ore required little digging as the deposits lie close to the surface, but as of the current date, more extensive excavations required to continue operations. The company has begun this expansion work, while acquiring a lease for the extra land from the 
of local authorities destroying several farm properties in that process, and despite promises, neither compensation nor the lease have been forthcoming. Protests quickly broke out among local farmers over the issue, and soon escalated into a riot that severely damaged expensive mining equipment, which the police refused to prevent, citing the technically illegal nature of their operations on its own initiative. A nearby Japanese garrison from Anshan stepped in and used lethal forces to disperse the riot. This, on this slaughter of our citizens has not gone unnoticed. An existing anti-Japanese sentiment has always been inflamed. The people will hold us accountable in our response, but the deposits and the company working for them are essential to Japan's strategic goals and a relationship with the Japanese permits little room to maneuver. Denounce the Japanese. Hmm. We gotta say something for now. Sucks, but we have to. Well, you guys are a bunch of vets, huh? That's cool. Darion. Huh. Why do they have to have one, though? Why? It's alright. Cool. No extra planes. That sucks. Uh, Ship-wise, go and stop training for now. Go home. Even though those ships are not very good either. Who's this? Fengshan government intervention stuff? Cool. Well, Governor Yang Jishan has not formally aligned himself with the Fengshan government. He has long ties with the Zhang Zulim and supported us during the last Zaifang War. Qing Imperial Authority's recent, uh, recent conflicts uh, with Shangxi has caught us off guard and unprepared, but that will not last. If Qing are not ready, able to destroy Shangxi quickly, then we will get a chance to join the war and protect our former ally. Just hold on, Yan'an. We're from Manchuria and finance. At the start of the 20th century, Manchuria was a poorly managed frontier, fraught mm -mm. with lawlessness and banditry. With the rule of Zhang, however, came rapid reforms through his finance minister, Wang Yongzheng. Wang backed his currency, originally no different from those printed by other warlords, with silver generating confidence, which led to some gains in value against the Japanese yen. Extensive tax reform solved outstanding debts, and by the early 20s, the economy was bolstered by immigrants fleeing instability throughout the rest of China. Of course, this could did not last, and Minister Wang resigned in 28 and died the next year. With Feng Xin's economy only beginning to recover from eight years of post-war decline, the time has come to implement new reforms inspired by those of the old and return the Northeast to its rightful place as one of China's most prosperous regions. A minister must be chosen to draw up the necessary plans to determine priorities for the government efforts. Pan Fu. I like the political power, though. Communication squeak is not bad. This dude. Just not Concordia Association. Um, since we're here... Fighters are fine. We already have tactical bombers. We might as well get those ones going. Um, where are we at? Centralized the banks? Eliminate our investment earth. Well, who's lowest right now? Zen Clique is lowest, so we should probably go with them. No, I do want more political power every single day. Point one three is really bad. Recovery League is where? 20%? It's fine. Bank Xin currently features four note issuing banks, namely the Bank of the Three Eastern Provinces, the Bank of Jilin, the Bank of Heilongjiang, and the Frontier Bank, each of which are products of either earlier centralization efforts. Now, it seems pertinent to complete this process and unify them all in a single central bank. Might as well, I guess. Yeah, not bad. Just hold on, Shang-Chi. Gotta hold on. Here. Negotiations with the Federalists? Our diplomatic state currently leaves much to be desired. Besides Japan, we have no natural allies in the region that would be able to cooperate with us against the Qing and the Imperial Authority. The Qing Imperial Authority. This will leave us with the unorthodox but still present possibility of approaching the Federalists to support us. Well, they're saying anything but insignificant. We still have our fair share of ideological differences, but be as it may, if we can bribe them, they could become a potential ally in the conflict ahead. Well, I mean, with this one, we want to make sure that the thing fails, so. Was successful? Not successful. Yeah. Eh, don't bother. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Hold on, Shang-Chi. Even though I could send you volunteers, I know I could, but I don't really feel like it right now, even though that would be really good for army XP and such. Because I want to get involved here. How strong are you guys? Because with you guys just fighting all the time under Pu Yi, like, you've got to not have a lot of equipment. I mean, then again, we don't have a lot of equipment either, but we have a decent amount. The Zhang Zulin Radio Incident. It has become known as the Zhang Zulin Radio Incident. A Qing subversive was able to record a frank conversation between the Grand Marshal and his generals and transmitted over the widely used frequencies in Shenyang for nearly 40 minutes before being jammed by a nearby Mount Setsu on station. The conversation, which the Grand Marshal described enemies of the North, South, East, and West, put Feng Shun's relationship with Japan in unconventionally blunt terms, damaging our propaganda in Japan's interests. The broadcast was doubly damaging thanks to his capture of Zhang discussing the realities of the Qing, Imperial Authority's relative industry and military strength and the degree to which we must rely on Japan for crucial technology, something which we have to be careful about to conceal from the public. Like laws, it's better not to see Hong Chang being made. You guys at least have that much, you guys. Take that already. 
Min Bing, huh? About a month left. Not bad. It's only June. Hago. Might as well. Wu Wang Zai Zhu. Grand Marshal Zheng Zulin delivered a short but powerful speech, alluding to the struggle to achieve when on the brink of the defeat on the, at the siege of Zhu. Turn the tide of victory, won the war. This is to be our example as we march towards forward against those who keep trying to weaken and divide it. Southern Reclamation. Uh, if you want to put that, please go ahead. Long live the Republic. Wan Sui. Uh, cool. Uh, that's fine, whatever. 0.26, huh? Message music exclusive to fill the silver reserve. Um, I don't want to do any of this stuff yet. Maybe we're going to wait. Current Chinese investment because I think I did Chinese investment earlier. We'll see. Because especially when we get the coup, I'm not sure what's going to happen exactly. So we'll see what happens. Oh, do you get pushed out? That sucks, bro. It's all right. We're going to keep getting attacked though. Oh, Ukrainian people's. Rep wow, I don't think I've ever seen that one. They get to Khrushchev. So they don't really have another unique focus here. They just went red. A red Hetman. Cool. That's one ugly picture of Khrushchev, though. My goodness. Oof. Sorry. But not sorry. Yeah, not really sorry. Austrian Empire is doing the best they can. The ES. Seven Cop looks just tired and old. So where are we at with this? Ten days that we go to war. Ching are doing quite well until we can probably hopefully come in. Thirty-six percent. We'll keep it thirty-six percent for now. From Beijing. Yeah. Nice. Concordia Association does go down. It's good in the propaganda war. Already, the propaganda department is redoubling its efforts to relaunch a devastating ideological barrage under which the regressive Qing regime must surely crack and crumble. The Grand Marshal has personally released several short speeches announcing the Kaiser's Papanasia Puyi, calling him lower than a dog for his cowardice and brazen collaboration with the German intruder, and selling out the Chinese people to foreign interests. At the same time, the degree of influence the Japanese hold over own government is clear to even the lowest beggar. So, our efforts ring of hypocrisy in the ears of many. Southern reclamation is inevitable. Anti Japanese protests. Angered by Japan's increasing control of our country, protests have broken out in Shenyang, Arben, and Changchung. Uh, police and military units have already on the site, containing the protests, but the damage is already done. The War of National Reclamation. The appointed hour has finally arrived. In the coming days, the fruits of, our, of over a decade of extensive planning and preparation will finally be brought to bear against the enemy, and the first steps will be taken on the path of national reunification. All that there remains is to stride forward and see the moment. 10,000 years to the Grand Marshal Zhang, 10,000 years to the Republic. History remembers this day. And lep.0205. Underscore no gur. Another obstacle in the road to accumulation. It's fine, don't, I don't care. Sure, Shang-Chi. Sure. Let's go, boys. Let's go, 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 go. Let's link up. Nice. Thank you very much. Go as fast and as hard as you possibly can. Diversify armament production. Oh, that wouldn't be bad. Bonus PP. Um, the Quantum Protocol. Might not be bad to do right now. In light of the growing friendship between our two nations, the Quantum Armies petitioned Japan's Army Ministry to increase cooperation. This is set to include the transfer of weapons and technology as well as training. All we need to do is add our signature to the prepared document, although accepting will play straight in the hands of the Concordia Association. Twenty-seven percent, huh? Obtain Japanese instruct instructors? Why not? The Japanese field of modern military and industrial sector, comparable in strength and discipline with any in the West. Given that the Japanese government is willing to provide instructors free of charge, we should take this opportunity to build a force our enemies will envy. Get as much army experience as you possibly can. Go, go, go. The matter of occupation. Oh. Alright, cool, whatever. Um, can we go here yet? No, we can't. God dang it. That sucks. Military staff. Uh, who's on this group? Get whatever we can for it, like... Ooh, that's not bad. I like supply and organization. I like attack, but let's go with Yu Zhishan. The matter of occupation. Occupations are never easy or simple, but the average Chinese soldier is often a little better than a band of the marching orders. Already our troops have begun burning, looting, and defiling the same towns and villages that our government claims to be liberating. Some will say that we should let the troops have their fun, but now that Grand Marshal Zhang Zhu Lin is again competing on the national stage, he must consider his image. He was once abandoned himself, and many here in the South have had a hard time showing respect to or taking orders from a former criminal. Already the elite have turned up their noses, and while forces 
Of course, it might be an easy answer. We do need these intellectuals, landlords, and businessmen to forward our greater aims. It is these individuals, or figures, who through whom we must rule. Fortunately, our logistic system is sufficient to feed our soldiers, meaning our men are not looting for survival, but nonetheless will they will be unhappy to keep kept from what they see as their right by conquest. The liberation are we the liberators or liberated? We're not bandits anymore. Yeah, I don't like being bandits. Well, that sucks. That really sucks, bro. Is it one or two is better? Yeah, one is better. Cool. Even if we struggle a little bit more, get some more army XP for the love of God. Oh, now you're going to go to one of these guys, too. Stage one, huh? Or whatever it was. So you can pay Jing. Oh, we got to hold on to it, so that's fine. Request Japanese intervention. We are at the risk of failing to, uh, to the Japanese, no, to Qing Imperial Authority. We need an intervention from our Japanese allies if we want to have a chance to turn the tide and hissing the five races flag over Beijing. Hissing? You mean raising? Not bad. Overall, not too bad, really, at all. Um, there you go. After this one, yeah, we'll go get them instructors. Even uh, Shang-Chi is pushing out, and Anqing Clique is doing pretty darn well as well. Now, Jir and Free State is Gonorinos. Good, good, good. Yeah, we need definitely more Concordia Association, so. Go, Zen, go. You're not really good on attack, are you? Or it's really bad on defense. I want more uh, army XP. 71, 72. Show what arms and seal works. Not bad so far. Fine, sorry if you want to read that, but go ahead. What a childish fantasy. After this one, uh, we gotta do both of these. Versailles armament production. Let's restructure the China Flying Corps. Originally organized by the Grand Marshal Sun Zheng Zhu Liang, the Corps performed well in the last year, losing air superiority upon, only upon the arrival of more modern driven piloted planes. Since then, it's expanded but retains aircraft decades behind Western standards. A national reunification campaign conference. Having broken through the Shanghai Pass, our army sends shockwaves across the nation when they see the city of Beijing. And once again, the five colored flag flies above the city. With this victory, we've taken the first major step towards national reunification and resumed our role as an active contender for the national leadership. Continue to seize the moment. Marshal Zhang has ordered his staff to begin assembling a plan for the peaceful unification of China. If put into motion, more importantly agreed upon, it would see the remaining provinces in China united without any further bloodshed, raising the legitimacy of our government immeasurably. The plan is not without its opponents, of course, as some politicians doubt. An undertaking of this scale can be accomplished, while some members of the military believe that diplomacy will only prevent the formation of a strong central authority and leave the country again united in name only. We must carefully consider this de uh, decision, as the stroke of a pen here could have a far bigger impact than any order the old marshal has given in his long and story career. Yeah. So that's why I say just in case. So we'll do that anyway. anyways. Cool. 29%. We'll get up. We'll get up out there. I want more army XP. That's literally what all I want. What do you guys got? Go ahead and your expert for now. Be fine. Losses. We've lost 3,000. That's pretty good. We've killed off 37,000. So 10 for 1 casualty ratio so far. Not bad. Disorder of Baoding. Disturbing reports have begun to emerge from the Baoding Military Academy with the company of our soldiers uh, originally captured and occupied. As a military target in which the enemy held off for over a week, damage to the building was expected, as was some degree of looting, but few expected to hear of our men killing one another over the spoils, supposedly. The institution's store of medals and hot rank insignia was discovered shortly after its capture, creating several self declared colonels, majors, and generals, each belonging to a variety of self awarded honorable orders. These men, completely ignorant of the actual standing granted by the regalia, began a fight over precedence. By the time troops arrived from elsewhere to relieve these, the actual commander, the upstairs soldiers had split into a number of cliques occupying different parts of the academy, and several dozen, dozens were dead. There can only be one Grand Marshal. Similar events will continue until the suppress the bandits collect the harvest focus has been completed. God dang it. Wait, where is that? Um... Screw the rear areas. But, suppress the bandits collect the harvest, so... Ah, it's gonna take a while, isn't it? Oh, but look at that. Nice. 
for Beijing the Begonia Leaf. For decades, students and nationals have compared the shape of China that say China undivided to the shape of a Begonia Leaf. With Beijing in her hands, it's time to come and reclaim all of the homeland and make the Begonia Leaf a reality. Order returns to Zili Province. As our troops swept across the Zili Province, the majority of the population braced themselves for a wave of indiscriminate violence. But despite a few unavoidable incidents, our troops have largely kept to the code of conduct set out by Marshal Zhang. Some st stubborn figures have attributed the surprise to Feng Shui's advanced system of logistics, which reduced the need for our armies to live off the land instead of praising Zhang himself. Still, even they cannot ignore results. My apologies for this. Oh crap. My crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. You know, I, like I said, I did it before, and Kaiser Redux when Kaiser Reich when playing this, uh, I'll give these people like a fair share, ish. Sichuan, here you go. Uh, Shangxi, um, here you go. Shandong, here you go. Cool, thanks for everything else, guys. Uh, and this the performance will go a long way towards earning the nation's trust. At least it's over. Nice. But now we can do that one finally. So this is kind of set up really nicely. It's pretty darn nice, actually. Um, of course, now we're going to have to start integrating it. Lizili Province, yeah. It's fine. Go and start integrating it. It's fine, 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 We have three civvies. That sucks so much. I hate this Mensetsu influence. We give them seven. 50%-ish construction speed. Could be better. Could be a lot worse, but still. Not great. Since we're here, um, let's go to 20 combo with. Thank you. Nice. Uh, let's see, Chibi 2s. You 2 should be Chibi 2s. There you go. That's nice, that's better. Cool. And you get that. Oh, rebuild the second army. Probably kind of cool. Three second army divisions will be spawned. Cool, I want this one too. Last time we did this, I remember we got a lot of territory just from, like, giving out the lands like this, but they're not giving it to us. Wow, Mokliq looks really bad. Wow, it's, it's lagging really badly right now. Holy crap. It's, uh, really not bueno, but... Oh, that goes hungry, that's why. Figured out why. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bohemian Revolution. That's a big old Bohemian Revolution. Bulgaria looks like it's seen better days, though. Oh, not bad. Not bad. One, two, not bad. Pretty good. Get a bonus of that. You might as well do that already. Nice. Anything else here? Concordia Association, you know what? We will boost up the Concordia Association anyways. Japan offers uh, troop training. The delegations arrived from the Empire of Japan offering training force forces to bring us to the necessary level. To, it's if a difficult offer to refuse. Refuse them? By all means. Sure. Why not? Now we're the Recovery League. Concordia Association, though, is maxed out. So now we're at 37%, which is not bad. So let's get this one done. Boost ourselves up, and then unification by... Oh. Unable to force the checks and surrender, all exhausted Austrians admit defeat. Oh, that sucks. Are you going to have a red revolution? That'd be really cool if you could have a red revolution if you guys suck. Oh, there goes the Hungarians. They're free. Surprise, surprise. The Feng Shuang government. Nice. So I guess since we can't do this one, we'll just unification for subjugation. Negotiations will fail, as they always do. Now there's no choice but to unify China by the sword. Our friends, few friends and allies, will now rally behind us as we call our, carry forth the five color flag, raising a lot of symbol that unites the hopes and dreams of all Chinese. It was force which broke the Chinese, and then which force which humiliated it, and now force shall make it whole again. The time has come to reclaim our country once and for all. All right, everyone, so now we're doing suppress the bandits, collect the harvest. So the last time soldiers of the Feng Shan army entered the North China Plain, some units were encouraged to suppress banditry and sit in collection or collecting the seasonal harvest in return for lodgings and food. For such amenities were normally simply seized, these tactics seemed to have ameliorated local unrest and partisan activity. All commanders would do well to follow this example. But so right now, um, we got a little bit of an issue. Shandong clique, they joined the co-prosperity spheres, which is not good for us to reunify China, so we have to fight the Japanese as well to reunify all of China. Um, right now, the Concordia Association is at 30%. We're going to fill the sword reserve, because last time I did reintroduce the Feng Shen dollar, but we'll do this one. The Feng Shen Yuan. Our principal currency is backed by silver in the past, 
has even gained value against the Japanese yen. This has been met by Japanese insistence that our reserves have never held enough silver to properly back the currency. Regrettably, there may have also been some, some truth to this, and so more silver must be purchased if we're to attract additional investment. For better or for worse, that's what we gotta do. God dang, we need a lot of army XP. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just so much. We can barely build anything too, but our guys are looking on... They're looking alright. They're not bad. Great combo with divisions, you know. They, they can they can do stuff. Some stuff. Not a lot of stuff. Just some stuff. Honestly, with our guys here too. Would it be possible to afford engineers at the very least? No. So, we can't make any more divisions for a while, but that's okay. Engineers are going to be crucial for our uh, way to do all this stuff. So, after this, continue the reclamation war. I would love to do. Counter revolution in Chile, huh? Question of presidency, which we'll wait to do. Secure the rear areas. The North China Plain has been seized, but it's not been, yet been pacified. For now, the army controls only the railways and their immediate proximity with the bandits and partisans running wild. China is a big country, and the rear areas must be thoroughly scoured in order to ensure uncompromised advance towards the goal of national reunification. A full silver reserve is crucial to building confidence in Feng Shen's currency, and even more crucial to attracting foreign investment. With which, while Feng Shen can never hope to match Zili to the south, who have been for the past eight years flush with German capital. However, silver is an expensive commodity, and paying for enough to fill the reserves fully would undoubtedly cut funding from other areas. Some ministers have privately suggested only buying about half of the desired quantity, as many believe the reserve was less than full before the last Zifeng War, and those rumors were never confirmed, of course. It was later difficult to explain the significant economic recession that followed the government's inability to settle its war debts. Still, filling the war reserve inadequately would certainly be a big risk, but perhaps a worthwhile one. No risk, no reward. 40% chance a fraud goes undiscovered. Fill the reserve? Fill the reserve. I, mean, we, we, I wanted to trade for material anyway, but we were at like three, so whatever. What does this one say? Oh, prevent looting in Zili. We lose political power. Looting will continue for several weeks. We may lose national legitimacy. Order will be restored. Yeah, it's fine. A little bit, a lot of lag. What is? So someone in Germany died. Or Austria? Deutsch? Oh, Deutsche Middle Africa. Okay. Oh God. What a mess. Oh my gosh, it's disgusting. Yeah, prevent looting for now. Encourage Chinese or Japanese investments. Unfortunately, ja cap foreign capital is crucial to our development efforts, and so we must make attempts to attract Japanese alongside Chinese investors. While they won't receive the same incentives as their own citizens, they should be com com comforted by a recent fi filling of the silver reserves. Here's Chinese investment. It's at the heart of the effort. Our efforts to return to at least some control of Feng Shuang's economy to its people instead of my Tetsu. Incentives and careful planning are the, elite, the only way forward. Well, we're at 39% anyway, so... We're becoming we're just Japanese lapdogs at this point. Honestly, if we had to fight to go this way, we'll probably have to come over here. Take out Shen Shangxi clique. And then do that. We can only get 0.31, which is better than before, but still. Required to remove the dearth. Limited investment dearth. Let's see what happens. 50 army XP is not great, but not bad. After that one, continue the reclamation war. We're only going to war. The war of national reclamation did not end with the capture of Beijing. One by one, each of China's provinces must be brought back to heel, and the country once again unified. I'm glad it's a 14 day focus. I love it. So, the Kunming National Government, which is probably not going to be easy. Is this a KMT? Social liberals, huh? Guangzhou Federal Government. And then Shandong Clique, Sichuan Clique, Ma Clique, Shangxi Clique. Can we cancel the non aggression pact? Oh, we can't. Dang it. Dang it. We gotta wait till July, which is not that bad. Oh, nice hat! Sarong Zaza. Siam, do just Asian. I got a smoker. He's a smoking dude. Alrighty. I think it's a man here, too. We'll see. We'll see how I'll do this one, too. So 29% is not good enough. The Curry League does go down, which is good, so then the Concordia Association will be back on top. Nice. Limited investment. Well, we're gonna do this one too. It's fine. Secure the rear areas. Continue the reclamation war. Nice. Because Mongolia, we'll have to fight Russia as well eventually. Integrate uh, occupied arsenals. New military factories will be constructed in the following controlling states. Oh, we don't have that. Oh, what was this one? Expand the Baojia system. Integrate Chinese provinces as core states. Complete 20 days faster. And 10 political power less. I like the less supply consumption, but this one sounds pretty good. The Baojia system is an ancient method of social organization or military recruitment. Zeng Zulun revived the practice several decades ago in the Northeast into great effect, but now the time has come to once again expand the system to the rest of China, whereas by and large fallen by the wayside. We'll do the question of the presidency a little later, maybe? Just because, uh, we'll see. Towards Japan. Uh, 
We have submitted to dynastic rule. Japanese Economic Union. Join the Yen Bloc. I want to do the father to the people, though. Maybe we'll see. We'll get a resource out here, too. Kind of nice. You don't, get, you don't get one there, though. Sucks. And then broaden the Binzang Network versus this one. Oh. Let's do this. Incorporate local patronage networks first. There's more to every institution that meets the eye, and every good warlord builds his uh, stronghold through a network of reciprocal partnerships and negotiation behind closed doors. With the collapse of enemy authority, there are many such individuals and institutions without a clear place in the new order. There's every reason to begin incorporating these individuals into our own networks where possible, and end to the investment shortage. After roughly a decade of limited external or internal investment beyond the government's own, Peng Shion has made itself a reliable and trustworthy location for prosperous growth. Going from strength to strength, and with the fires of industry behind us, our prospects of retaking the country are growing by the day. As we enter or begin our other development projects, we should begin to see our investments efforts open up related opportunities. Finally, chance for investment events as other focuses are taken. Finally, nice. All right, so claiming the Republic of China, Grand Marshal's proclamation, the old alliance alive from Shandong. Only complete this decision when you're prepared to begin the reclamation war within a year. Huh? Attack uh, Shangxi. Yeah. Cool. In 20 days, not bad. How are the planes looking? Not great, but could be a lot worse. Could be a lot, lot, lot worse. Still buying up all that silver. Oh boy. Fiume? That's a country in Red World. Oh yeah, the pirate. Modern Blackbeard, huh? Nice. A pirate's life for me. Nice. Very cool. We need way more support coming though. Wowzers. And Bowsers. Nobody won the fault. Oh! Wait. Germany is taking out... Oh, the UK! Wait. Are you not... Oh, so May 13, 1939. How are you at war with the Antel this early? What? Oh, uh, that's interesting to say the very least. Okay. All right, whatever. If we can take these guys out fast enough, that'd be great. Now we're gonna suffer here a little bit because there's the mountains here we're gonna be fighting through, but that's okay. And we've got three days left. Nice, three days left. And then I'd like to get the Mongolian kind of, but then I, I we have to fight Russia there as well, so we're gonna probably wait. We'll probably go to war with Sichuan next. We'll take as much as we can before we have to fight the Japanese itself themselves. So. Oh, explode that army XP. Please, 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 please. Sichuan? Are you allied to anybody, Sichuan? No. Advanced machine tools? Very nice. Let me get some of that, too. Since we're here anyways, we should be over there pretty soon. Sichuan, cleat. Be good. What's this one down here? Continue army for me, yeah. It's gonna take some time, that's all. Um, Zhang Zulin, please stop using drugs. Drugs aren't good for you, usually. Some of them are. Some drugs are very good for you. And I recommended uh, doctor practice for you to use them, but still. Oh, the Central American Republic is gone. Goodbye. How's America looking, actually? Really divided. Of course, I guess anybody could have told you that, but whatever. Yeah, 70 armor speed. Good, good, good. We're struggling a little bit. That's totally fine. A little bit of struggle will help us learn and get better. He's almost commando. This person is learning quite a bit. Almost infantry leader. Infantry leader as well. Very, 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 very good. Commando 93% of the way there. 94. Not sure how useful commando will really be, but that's okay. We're running out of support command still. That's fine. Are they trying to get over the river or anything like that? Or what's going on? Try to get over the river, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Now these guys are going to be ready for us when we go to war for Chongqing, but that's alright. Whatever. Maybe a little bit, slightly too early, but whatever. Oh my god, how many more? 3,000? We've got 50,000, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty darn good. I'm glad we got this one first. Local Patreon Networks, yes. The UK's gone, holy crap. Um, broaden the Binzang Network. The Feng Chun Army has long been renowned for its outstanding system of logistics, allowing its soldiers to receive regular rations and ammo where others are forced to forge or steal from peasants. A key component in the system are the Bin Zeng, or logistics deposits, or depots, which must now be built in recently conquered territories. Good, good, good. 
don't really have enough guns for that, but do it anyways because you can. Nice. Yanan would be very good to get this time of year. Can you guys actually go here, maybe? That'd be great if you could. 121, we are rapidly getting more stuff here. Commando's okay. It's better out of supply, but other than that, eh. It does alright. Fighting over the river sucks. Go, go, go. Uh, point pawn. Uh, can use more daily PP, I guess. Why not? Where are we at? 30%? That's not good enough. 142 army XP, though. That's pretty decent. I can't imagine these guys holding out for that much longer. Then again, I guess I got a crap ton of infantry equipment. Oh, that's Poland. Wait, you could be the Czechs, but you beat the Poles. How? Come on. Stop lagging so hard. I, I really don't like the engine sometimes. Was it the Klausowitz engine we're using? There we go. 152. Nice. Good. I hate that you're still connected here. Anything else? Level 3, level 4, level uh, 3, 3. Becoming an infantry leader still. Becoming an infantry leader, which is good. I don't like doing general attacks like this sometimes, but sometimes they're just absolutely necessary. If you could have won here first, you could have encircled those divisions and killed them off, but whatever. Next time. Yanan? Good. Are we out of guns yet? Yes, we are. Holy crap, we're out of a lot of guns. Um... Oh, we're finding these guys down here too. That's true. Uh, occupation Tinjian, nice. Hey, way more factories now. Nice. Kunming, good. Uh, all right then. Come on. Definitely don't want to force the attack. You guys do not keep attacking there. That's stupid. Oh! Oh, the also slot Okay, so we can dig in. That's good. Now we gotta come up here. Come on, this is taking way too long. There you go. Hey, got enough guns back. Nice. There goes those guys. Keep the guns in place if you possibly can. That'd be good. Keep going in. Integrate Shang-Chi immediately. It's fine. Uh, political actions were probably okay. Good. Junior 2 is good. Would be not anti air. Yeah, probably get some anti air there. Second Valkyrie, nice. Anti Japanese protest, if you remember that, please go ahead. Three organs of NTC, that'd be good to do as well. Um, reclaim the railways. Mostly built by Western hands, or at the very least funded by foreign capital, China's railways have always been seen as a symbol of imperialism. Made or so owned in part by the same American or European corporations which built them, and the time has come to formally reclaim these railways and solidify the central government's control, or its own rail network, no matter the cost. All that matters is we can move in fast enough. That's all that literally matters right now. We have 60. Holy crap, that's a lot of guns. Nicey, nice, nice, nice. We'll go to war with some other people too once we're like halfway through this nation as well. We might go to war with the Guangxi federal government. We'll see. Maybe. The Mongolians are doing really well holding out. I mean, they're still losing, but. Oh, we're only about. Ooh, this one. Uh. In the time since its initial release, the Mantetsu Film Association has put out several more films, each garnering some measure of attention and generally following the understanding agreed upon at its founding. The latest film, Song of the White Orchid, has attracted notable attention, however. The piece involves a romantic engagement or entanglement between a Japanese man and a Chinese woman where Lee leaves her lover through a misunderstanding and joins a Manchu bandit group plotting to sabotage the South Manchuria Railway. She later learns the deliberate arrangement of this misunderstanding by the Qing spies, renews her faith in Hasegawa, and undermines the plot. 
Both protagonists seem clear allegories for their respective countries, and concerns have been raised, but the anti ching propaganda value is significant, and the theme tune is just so catchy. Cool. Come back. Yeah, 35 minutes. Anti Japanese protests. Whatever. Sort of governance, meant to influence. It's got it's gotten worse. It's definitely gotten worse, which sucks, 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 sucks. Overall, we're doing a lot better down here than I thought we would. I'm glad you're still struggling over here a little bit. Because once we get these these guys out and we're in, these guys will be encircled and they'll be gone. Come on, get in there. Yes, there you go. Nice. Three, four, three, three. There it is what it is, I guess. Nice. Losses, twenty thousand versus forty thousand, that's not bad. We do have sixty divisions, which is pretty nice too. We can go in here, that'd be great, or even down here. Or anywhere, really anywhere else, but like... I think the rivers suck. Nice. Deutsch, Ost, Asian, good. Keep the Japanese busy for now. German-Japanese war, the East is under siege. Oh, come on. Win somewhere here, man. Or right, here, that's, that's fine with us too. I don't mind winning here. Yay! We actually broke over, which is awesome. How strong are these guys? Plenty of manpower, like normal. Ten, 20 divisions max. Can't tell about their stockpile. Man, they're starving here anyway. They probably want a new guy to lead you anyway, so... Why are you resisting? Bruh. So how do we get the Concordia Association in power? Hmm. I have no idea. Because they're, they're they're the most powerful, but Yang Yu Ling. Oh, we've submitted to dynastic rule. Oh, it's a subject of the Mongolian Khanate. A new dynasty must rule China. Oh. Well, we'll see. We we'll go down there, and we we'll go down there. We can do really well. Not good enough yet. Crush fl flies and capture pigs. Reclaim the railways. Prevents further labor unrest. The industrial policy of our nation is being threatened by the increasingly divergent interests of industrialists, union leaders, and workers. Unions serve only to divide and creating distrust, forcing the leaders of our country to compromise. Only through an intervention that solidifies the discipline and loyalty of labor organizations can the unity be forged that allow us to move our country forward. Um, you get this really bad idea, but after expired, you get worker loyalty, which is pretty good. Yeah, we're going to go that way. Shang-Chi, that's fine. Uh... These guys on the right side in the east have been cut off, which is really nice. Now, Jingzhou. It's actually very, very nice. Austria intervenes. Oh, Mentesu uh, Chosabu construction collaboration. In light of Japan's recent development, officials from Mentesu's research wing have begun to collaborate with their own, providing new tools and best practices so that we may sooner achieve the same level of advancement. Nice. Excellent. Shangxi, yes. I mean, more PPs. I'm going to Guangzhou Federal Government. Which, we, if we can't do immediately, that's fine. Whatever. A little bit of lag. Nice. Take out him. South America. Oh, we're losing stuff. Man, this influence is really bad for us. Point zero seven. My goodness. These guys are starving over here. Chongqing will be ours. We're out of guns? No, we're actually out of artillery now. Huh. Crest is in German Bohemia. Huh. Wow, without the donut. Wow, that's a really ugly donut agent. When you have Poland, but you know the Republic of Czechoslovakia. And these guys are doing really well down here, too. But the Germans took out, took out the UK before the Second Bucket began. That's just weird, man. Train for now, I guess. Going a big old army, taking all these guys out. Point one, my gosh, that's gonna take so long to do. Why, man? Why? 
Yeah, I mean, gun-wise, we're going to be doing more than fine. 95,000 guns. We need more support equipment. Uh, sure. Yeah, we get more... Actually, we lose political power with this guy. How much support do we have? Yeah, we don't get support. That's fine. We lost more political power, but we were going to literally lose political power if we got the guy, so... The Guangzhou federal government does not exist. Oh, we could just become the Republic of China that way. That's not too bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. These divisions are doing pretty darn well. So how strong is this group? Chen Chong Ming. Which I will need to play at someday, but I'm not sure when. More motorized ain't too bad. 1939. Let's get the 1940 stuff going. We got that one going. Chinese research. Atomic research. Why not? Gun wise, we probably live by one. Maybe keep you up a little higher than this. Go there. That'd be nice. Yeah, we're clearing the railways and get rid of these stupid labor disputes. I hate these things so much. Centralize. See, so yeah, we can't go that way, so we have to centralize provincial revenues. Which is not bad, that's pretty good. I mean, we lose the building worth to get more factory output and better consumer goods, which is pretty darn nice. Oh, you're not pirates, huh? Keep on out, Mongolia. Keep on out. Bugged ton. Serbia. Nikolai. Perez. As the Spanish are killing each other. Just like the Americans, of course. Can the American Union State win here? Eh, maybe, maybe not. It's really too early to tell who's going to win here. Alaska's doing... Lichten duality. Principality of Liechtenstein. Alaska's doing really well, though. A little surprising, but okay. Sure, why not? There you go. I'll get some of that, too. I wonder. Who are these fine folks? We don't have a lot of fuel. What do we throw on... Motorized. Throw that. Good. Good, 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 good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it yet. We need political power here. I want to go back to war, so... Uh, don't even do a focus yet. Get all that political power, spend it, then go to war with these guys and have a good time. Oh, oh, that sucks, actually. So that means we have to fight... Guard basically all the coasts. But fight the Japanese in Korea... Fight them in China, and then fight them in Southeast Asia. Jesus Christ, that's going to suck a lot. That's going to suck a whole bunch. Is it not? It's going to suck a whole bunch. That's, that's going to suck a lot. That's what keep making divisions. Hmm. Just never, just never enough stuff here. And we need to integrate Sichuan. Like, everything we have here is so bad. Integrate Shang-Chi sucks. Ruan sucks. Huang Fu sucks. Mantis influence is way too high. National legitimacy is really bad. Which actually has been getting better since we've reclaimed more and more people, but still. French National... Oh, hello. Wow. They took out the... Deutsche Mill Africa, but you were able to take out... Wow. I, this is a weird timeline. Who is this? Oh, it's just Kamalika Socialist Republican stuff. The Guangzhou federal government would be very nice to get rid of. Come on, let's go. Let's do it! I wish it would take 20 more days to do, which sucks, but whatever. Labor disputes, that's fine. So after that one... There, there they go, too. Um, bonus industry. More Concordia Association. More political power. Jigyu Ikaku. The Japanese have recommended that our military industrial enterprises adopt a strategy of comparing business results to Jigyu Ikaku. In which proprietary data on production is disclosed, they will then rank performance and dispatch consultants to improve our industrial methods. This should boost production, though it will give the Japanese plenty of information about our military industry. Give more Concordia Association, which is fine, gains into the, over the function government until we have to fight them, quite literally. So I want to do all the focuses we possibly can. As we're reclaiming China and beating up other people, then we can do the question of the presidency, which... Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't want to... Well, maybe we'll do that one later first before we do all this other stuff. Because I don't want to get rid of our influence yet. Like, I want to make sure that we get all the benefits from being part of Japan's lapdog. Gain national legitimacy. More compliance growth speed. More stability. All that stuff is really beneficial. Point two nine. Thank God we've integrated Shang-Chi. Or Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi or whatever it is. So, thank goodness. Oh, Syria's gone. A lot of lag. The Ottomans must have won their war. Yeah. The Ottomans have definitely must have won the war. Nice. Oh, no, never mind. The pirates are gone. Oh, my gosh. Why is Hungary like that? Oh, it's so ugly. Oh, but the Third International is still here, and they're fighting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah that's not good for those guys. The Italian bloc, they're just kind of hanging out. Oh, maybe we should stop training, too. Bakongo Commune. 
Hopefully we can do well down here, which we should be able to do well, regardless. So, I think after this one, what we're going to do... We're going to do this one, but then we're going to, like, beeline through all of these, maybe? And I might just do it off screen, we'll see, because I don't want to get through all this stuff first. Reorganize the NTC. Founded by the Feng Shui government shortly after its creation, the National Transportation Commission serves as a planning board for infrastructure across the country. The Japanese allege that its foremost aim is to disrupt Manchester's operations, and there may be some, at least some truth to this claim. Uh, we can't afford this political power. The seditious articles proliferate. An article in Ninhon Kog Kogyu Shimbun, or Japan Industrial Newspaper, has been translated into Chinese and spread widely in local newspapers before being censored by officials manage, who manage to track and shut down the publisher. The article described in substantial detail the extent of a degree to which Mentesu and other Japanese companies have established control over most sectors of our economy and instead of forecast predicting near complete control within five years' time. For obvious reasons, the article has been deeply upsetting, uh, upsetting to the general public, and there's little we can do to prevent the existing copies that are circulating. Disgraceful. Sucks. But develop the northern frontier. Uh, the northern reaches of Heilongjiang and Jing'an have been dominated by mountainous boreal forests since time immemorial, swept by bitter Siberian winds, and inhabited only by passing nomads. Modern technologies could allow for settlers to penetrate this hostile environment and pursue rumors of gold, gold, and graphite in the Qinggan Mountains. Expand the Anshan Mines. The enormous iron deposits in the Anshan have been described as being of world-class significance and churn out nearly 7 million tons of iron with the potential to triple output. By 1942, this expansion seems likely to propel Anshan towards becoming one of East Asia's largest industrial centers. Fengshan Society for Light Metals. Significant deposits of bauxite and alunite have been known to exist in Fengshan province for many years, but recent advances by Montetsu sponsored laboratories in Fushun and Tokyo have enabled aluminum production via a number of electrochemical processes. Establish a Jin, uh, Jinzu Industrial Zone. Jinun's docks and strategic position in the Laozi Corridor, which connects uh, land transportation between North and East, northeast China, making it a prime target for government-incentivized development. It remains to be seen whether special rules will be applied to the zone favoring Chinese or Japanese companies. And then we also have uh, support of Sino-Japanese joint companies. A great number of businesses in Fengchuan offer shares to both Chinese and Japanese, including the infamous Mensetsu, but relatively few Chinese have the funds to invest, and as a result, most joint companies are Japanese-dominated. Government backing may permit us to provide means and incentives to fellow Chinese and gradually shift this balance. Mentetsu civil engineering projects. While the Japanese have much to benefit directly from large civil engineering projects in Fengchuan, they also do so indirectly by helping to present our regime as successful at improving the everyday lives of its citizens. In this respect, our interests are mutually aligned, and then expand the Fushun mines. The mines around Fushun turn out nearly 11 million tons of coal per year, with deposits promising to produce over 4.5 billion tons in total. Uh, while some modern trains and ships in the West use oil, the Japanese empire runs on coal, and the strategic significance of these mines cannot be underestimated. And overall, how are we doing here? 9,000 losses, 10,000 versus 54,000 is not too shabby. I can help lower the Concordia Association right now. And then the Yalu and Songhua hydroelectricity. Manchuria's abundant coal deposits make for an excellent power source, but the strong currents of Yalu and Songhua rivers could provide additional power at minimal expense. With Japanese expertise, we might harness these mighty rivers to power more homes and industry. Japanese coal gasification methods? Japan's quest for crucial oil led to Manchuria, but now with disappointing results from prospecting, gas, uh, coal gasification now seems a logical path forward. Though enemy energy intensive, Fushun's enormous coal deposits can make the complex processes worthwhile. Y Yinku Commercial Development The port city, city of Yinku, oh, Kuo, or serves as Feng Shui's primary gateway to the world and the second largest port in the Boha Gulf after Japanese controlled Darien. This tremendous increase in material production and Feng Shui demands an equally a large investment in commercial infrastructure. Nice. We're doing really well, we don't need to think about it. And then Manchurian model cities. Japan sometimes goes surprising lengths to portray its role in Feng Shui as one of benevolent paternalism, to which end, Mansetsu plans to install state of the art electrical, sewer, and tram systems in the major cities of Shenyang, Chongchun, and Abdin. Not bad. And hopefully we can win this war here and do quite well. Level 4 attack, finally. Let's get a level 5 attack. Screw that. Anything else? Yeah. 16,000 versus 68,000 losses. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. As we're just slowly grinding through them. 4, 5, 4, 4. Not bad, not bad. They do be looking a little weak here, though. They have a lot less manpower than I thought they would. And political power-wise, we get 0.24 every single day. Um, I don't know. Should we... Let me know in the comments below if we should still, like... Go ahead and just do uh, this one. The question of the presidency immediately. That might be good to do. I don't know if we'll break away from the Japanese yet. Treaty of Friendship and Cooperation. Because we do one army run Republic, the ultimatum. So, 
Well, see, maybe we should do that one immediately, though. In Beijing, they say that when Zhu Lin stamps his foot, the whole city shakes. Yet, he's a soldier before a politician, and once no more than a bandit, making many questions as to suitability for the nation's highest political office, with gossip already circulating about his advanced age, illiteracy, and vulgarity. His western-tutored son, Zhang Zhuliang, may make a better choice while Zhu Lin leads from the shadows. That might be... We might just try that one immediately, um, and then kind of see what happens. If we can get him leading and get rid of some of these debuffs of our political power... That might be the way forward, but then again, now we're not really winning here too much, are we? That sucks. Sure. Hold for now. And you to hold here too. If you can win there, that'd be great. Win where you're green. We'll give our guys some time to heal up. And until it wouldn't be too bad. But I think I'll probably just finish this war off screen just because why not? But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will do our best to beat up the Guangzhou Federal Government and maybe even go to war with the Japanese maybe. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.